In this video, we're going to look at how to record using Audacity. Now, recording with Audacity is a very simple process. There's a couple of things you want to check before we get started, though. The first thing is our input. Now, you see this little pull-down menu in the middle here? You can pull it down. You can see several different inputs we can choose. CD player, auxiliary, microphone, line in, and wave out. Um, we want to make sure that's selected as microphone. That's what I'm going to be recording with today. The other thing, too, is we have a microphone slider here, as you can see. And uh, mine is actually slid right to the top because my microphone is a very quiet microphone. And also, I'm not very, it's not a very noisy atmosphere where I'm recording in right now. So uh, my microphone is turned up pretty high. You may be in a different situation. If you're recording a concert band or a drum set, you may want to turn the microphone volume down a little bit. But we'll see more about that as we start recording. Now, the last thing you've got to be able to do is click the buttons. And that's pretty straightforward. We got a round red button here, which is the record button. And once again, if you roll your mouse over the button, the, the name of the button will come up. So we'll hit that and we'll start. One, two, one, and two. Okay, and then I push stop to stop the recording. So that little bit of Chase Me Charlie, um, I wasn't really pleased with, with it, So, but let's have a listen back. Let's see how it sounded. Okay, here we go. One, two, one, and two. So that sounded pretty good, um, but there's a couple of things I didn't like. At the very beginning, my first note, which was right here, it, that didn't really sound that great. So I'm going to uh, try it again. And the way you try it again is, uh, well, the way you do a second take is we have to delete the first one. And the easy way to do that is you see right here on the upper left-hand corner of the track, we just click the X, and that will delete it. So there we go, it's gone. So now let's do take two. Hit record again and play away. One, two, three, four. Now that was a little better. Now another thing I wanted to point out to you is um, you can see as I record all the waveforms are popping up on the screen. Now if you find that the waveforms are touching the top or the bottom of the track window, that light gray section, uh, if you find it touching the top or the bottom, it's going to be distorted, and you may want to then pull the microphone level down a little bit by sliding the microphone level towards the minus sign a little bit. But mine seem to be okay. In the middle of the road there, you know, uh, nice uh, waveforms as you see here. This is kind of what we're looking for. That's a good volume level there. So that's all there is to recording. Now in, a, in another tutorial, you see how to edit to take out the counting at the beginning and the extra noise at the end. And you also, in another tutorial, you'll see how to save your music as well.